Alright, welcome back guys. My name is Daryl and today I'm going to show you guys how to back up or clone or even migrate your website to another domain. So in this tutorial, I'm going to take this website and I'm going to clone it onto this empty domain. Now this website has a lot of images, it has a lot of text and all this stuff. So uh, I'm going to take all this stuff and bring it onto another domain. And let's be honest, you know, uh, backups are probably one of the most important things in WordPress. I mean, I know when you guys build your website and stuff, you guys kind of get creative and you guys kind of like, you know, start messing with padding or, you know, whatever. And next thing you know, your site's a mess, you know, and you're like, I wish I can restart. So with this plugin, you guys can do it. So the plugin you guys will need is a plugin called WP All-in-One Migration. This will basically take this website that we have right here, clone it and back it up and bring it onto another domain. And it's really simple to use this plugin and it has tons of really good positive reviews about the plugin. And another thing I like about this plugin guys is that it also takes the databases. A lot of plugins uh, do not do that, but um, the WP All-in-One Migration, or I'm sorry, All-in-One WP Migration uh, does, all right? So let me show you guys how to use it. It's pretty simple. So right here I have my website, right? With this girl on it and you know, she's she's having a, she's having a bad day it looks like. So right here we have, you know, my plugin. Now if you guys need to find it, just go to plugins and go to add new and just type it in, you know, all in one W migration, but let's see if this works. Let's see if migration just works. Let's see, there it is. So this is the one you need right here. All in one WP migration, okay? Now, once you activate it, you guys get this little thing right here. So right here, I'm gonna go to export. Now you can also export this to a backup. So what that means is you can actually like export it to like a little like folder and that will be like your backups. But for right now, we're just going to export this and I'll talk more about backups a little bit later. But uh, right here, I'm gonna click on this. Now this is for like your, your admin, but we don't need to put anything here, okay? We don't need to put anything at all. So you can just kind of skip this over, you know, you don't need it. And then right here, I'm gonna go to export to, and I wanna go to file. Now it's preparing to export. So right here, the text and another text, it's for like your admin if you wanna like change it and stuff like that, but um, I, you know, I do not. So guys, this could take a while depending on your server. So if you guys are using like those really crappy free hosting, I hope you aren't, but if you are, it could take like a year, but no, I'm just kidding. It'll take, it'll take a while, but um, it's actually pretty fast. All right, so my file has downloaded. So right here, I'm gonna go to download my website. All right, so this is my website. So this is basically a full backup of the website. So right here, I'm gonna go to close. So let's go over here. And now we're gonna do the import option over here on this domain right here. So let's go to dashboard, plugins, add new, and I'm going to add this plugin. All right, I'm gonna go and activate it. All right, so now we have the option right here. I'm gonna to go to import and import from. Now guys, uh, if, you're f if your website is larger than 512 megabytes, you will have to get the pro version. So there is a small drawback, but for those of you who have just a small, quick website, uh, this will be perfect for you. Also, for those of you who have a really like, you know, a 50 gig website, they do handle that, but you have to get their pro version. So right here, I'm gonna go to import from file and then simply go ahead and go to downloads and find that file. So this one is, all right, right here. And then go to open. And now this could take some time. So it's basically migrating everything from that other website onto this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of let this video, I'm gonna pause it really quick and, and uh, when I'm done, we'll, we'll come back to it. I'll let you know how long it takes, don't worry. All right, so that took about a minute, maybe two minutes, and it gave us this little notice right here. So this is just basically telling you, look, it's going to overwrite everything on this domain to what you wanted to import. So I'm gonna say, all right, go ahead and proceed. All right, so it's importing, and again, this might take a little bit of time depending on your server. All right, it has finished. Let's test this out. So there is one important thing that we need to do before we go to our website, and that is the permalink settings. So click on the permalink settings, go ahead and log in with your old credentials on your older website, or the one that we migrated from. And now right here, I want you to click on save twice. So click on it once. All right, saving and save again. 
just in case. Just do it twice. Trust me. All right, so we've done that. And I'm going to go to visit site. And voila, it took the logo, it took all of everything. And let's go ahead, let's go ahead and test this out, guys. Let's go ahead and scroll down right here. And you know, all the padding's correct, the margins correct, the CSS is correct, the pages, the menu, everything is identical to uh, how we brought it or how I made it. Actually, this is a, um, uh, it's a layout from Divi. I didn't make this. So it's just like, it's just for tutorial purposes. So uh, going back over here, you guys can see if I can compare and contrast websites. Like for example, if I both go to home, uh, they're identical. So um, there is no difference. It's a complete copy of the other domain. All right, so I think that's helpful. All right, now for also the backups, you guys can make a backup instead of doing import export. And uh, from what I've been told from the developer team, um, you guys can just basically like export a copy onto your backups, or you can just go ahead and create a backup. Once you do create a backup, however, if you guys want to use the backup, you're gonna go to restore right here. Okay, so you can always create, create a backup right here, or you can export it onto your backups, whatever one you wanna do. But um, either way, it produces the same exact result. So don't get like confused on it. I mean, there's there's three options. And for those of you watching this, you're pretty fluent with WordPress, right? I hope so. So um, that's about it, guys. Also, they have other products. So they have like, uh, you know, Google Drive extensions, Amazon, you know, URL extensions. So, um, you know, if you want to check out their other products, you guys can go to their websites and, you know, check them out, see if they're for you or not. If not, you know, that's okay. But um, the all-in-one, migration plugin is it's pretty good guys i mean it's you you can always tell from the reviews in the community because you know bad products usually <laughs> you know people find out about it and they and they like slander them on wordpress.org like oh this is crap but uh, th these guys uh create a really good product and um you know if you guys do have a really large website you guys can always get the unlimited version and this is basically unlimited and it's for 70 bucks dude and Honestly, how much time is it gonna take you to do it yourself or hire a developer? It would take, you know, a long time. And with these guys, you pay 70 bucks and bam, it's done right away, you know, and you can do it within like a few minutes. So it's it's pretty amazing what they've done. So my hat's off to Serve Mask. Okay, so that's about it guys for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys wanna start cloning your websites and start migrating and backing up, that is the plugin to do it. All right, so make sure to like this video. And um, I got a new Divi tutorial coming out soon. So it's a little bonus feature. Maybe sometime in January I'll release it because I'm kind of working on some uh, layouts and the design of it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, see you guys later.